fact, I heard somebody in my own family was thinking, well, he's almost 40 years old and he's not married and he's in show business. You know what that means. <laughs> Just a year and a half after burrowing into our collective hearts, the humorous Hammondizer took a wife. Oh, just my fiance. Her. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, February. Sorry? Suzanne. I started dating my wife about this time that the first Behind the Music aired. We were set up on a blind date through um, our mutual friend uh, Bill Moomy, who played Little Will Robinson on Lost in Space. She w worked for 20th Century Fox as, a, as an executive, and I was me. He thought that we were both creative, intelligent people that hadn't found their soulmate yet and thought it would be kind of cool to introduce us. But we were both really busy. I had an album coming out. She was like super busy at work and we didn't have time to like actually get together for a date. But we talked on the phone late at night for a couple weeks, you know, before our first date and we got to really, really know each other just by talking over the phone. It took a little bit of effort to keep in touch, but we realized there was really something serious there and we kept at it. I, I had a severe crush on her because I just got to know her from her personality. She was the person that I've been looking for my entire life. Uh, and the ironic thing is she lived walking distance from my house. And we finally uh, had an, uh, an evening that both of us had free. So we went on our first date and walking up to the door, I still had no idea what she looked like. And I was thinking, well, I, I, I kind of hope she's cute because I'm probably going to marry her. <laughs> um, I would have married her if she was homely, of course, but I mean, <laughs> it, it turned out she was a knockout, so yeah, added bonus. We're trying to learn all about each other, and she was telling me about her life, and she was like, well, tell me more about you. And I said, well, you know, behind the music's on tonight. <laughs> you can watch that. You know, I think we were, we were married within about two years. When we were dating and when we, when we got married, my wife was vegetarian. Then when she got pregnant, uh, her, her body changed. And we would be walking down the street and she'd see a billboard for like a, a roast or a prime rib ab ad and she'd start salivating, oh, that looks so good. And I'd say, who are you? What happened to my wife? I think Suzanne wasn't what you would call a hardcore fan. She didn't like to have, have all the CDs and, and uh, had the tattoos. <laughs> You and actress Lisa Kudrow arriving at JFK uh, <laughs> Airport together the other day. It's just weird synchronicity happening. Yeah, my, my, my wife was forwarded to the TMZ picture like, what's going on with Alan and Lisa? <laughs> well, whenever I'm not on the road, yeah, uh, yeah my, my wife likes the facial hair, so I let it grow. Really? Yeah. Usually the wives don't like the facial hair. That's See, I, 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 I've, I've got part. the bizarro wife. This is not everything, but this, you know, oh, every, so that wouldn't let me put, keep everything. Yeah. Actually, I had to donate uh, on my wife's insistence pr uh, probably a few hundred Hawaiian shirts that didn't make the cut. She went through them and said, mm, stays, goes, stays, no, goes. You're... When I got married, my wife realized I had literally dozens and dozens of beacon boxes full of fan mail from the 80s in a storage unit. And she was like, you've got a full life now. You've got a family. You're not going to be seven, year old, seven years old reading your old fan mail. Like, somebody used to love me, you know. Right. I still am, feel, always feel awkward uh, when I'm in any kind of social gathering, which is one of the reasons why my wife completes me. She's, she's, she's the outgoing side of our family unit, and, and um, I, I lean on her quite heavily <laughs> in social gatherings because she'll be the person, you know, making conversations and keeping, keeping it going, and I'll, I just try not to fall over. Most of all, I'd like to thank my incredible wife, Suzanne, uh, the love of my life, my constant inspiration, and always the best part of me. Hi, baby octopus. How you doing, baby octopus? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh what a cutie. Oh.